Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the start of a new reading vlog. And actually, this time it's gonna be a weekend reading vlog, which I have not done in forever. So yeah, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. I'm Noemi, and I'm hoping to do a lot of reading this weekend because I submitted my last assignment of the semester today, and now all there's left are the exams. And I do have a couple days, like, just so I can do whatever I want. So I'm hoping to do a lot of reading over the weekend. Which books I want to read specifically, I don't know. Uh, I'm very much a mood reader, especially right now. I can't stick to a book. My mood changes like way too much. But for sure I'm gonna finish Some Girls Do because I have like less than 100 pages left in that. So that's like the only book I know I'm going to finish during this vlog. But then after that, I don't know, we'll see what my brain feels like reading. <laughs> I think first thing first for this vlog, <laughs> I'm going to go take a shower. I just, I need to feel refreshed so go take a shower and then after that i'm going to sit down on my bed and edit a video while watching a youtube video so that's the start of the vlog it is a very nice day today so i might want to read outside i just don't have like a setup to read outside like i would just sit on the ground which is fine but not really comfy so we'll see about that hope everybody's doing well and welcome to the reading vlog all right, so supper is served and I'm gonna watch some friends. I made a Caesar salad. My sister made a little pasta salad and then some chicken bite things. Hi, so, okay, you might be able to hear the dishwasher in the back, but it's Saturday morning now. We are going to breakfast. We're gonna go eat breakfast somewhere, me and my sister, so that's fun. And then later today, I'm gonna do a bit of reading and just a bit of like easy work I have to do. So that is my little update after not really vlogging yesterday. Yeah, we're gonna head to the breakfast very soon. I'm excited. I'm hungry. And I'm definitely gonna finish Some Girls Do, which is my current read today. And then I don't know what I'm going to read. <laughs> I cannot wait to come get the next one very soon. All right, so I'm gonna eat my sister's salad that I stole. No, I'm kidding. But I'm gonna eat that for lunch, a little late lunch, and uh, I'm gonna finish this book. I have like literally not even 100 pages left, so I'm gonna finish it. I think I know what I'm gonna read next, but we'll talk about that when I'm done with this one. This is really good, by the way. I really like it. All right, I finished a book, which was actually our book club book, and I liked it, but I need to wrap my head around my thoughts and everything. So I'll talk about it more like either at the end of the video today or just randomly in the middle of this video. But I think I know what I'm gonna read next. And I'm gonna tell you right now, but I'm not gonna start reading it just like right away. I want to edit tomorrow's video first. So let me grab it. I need some Lynn Painter in my life. So I'm gonna read The Love Wager. And I really feel like it's gonna be just a really quick read because I read Miss Wrong Number very quick. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. But I'm gonna edit a video first and then we'll get reading this one. Good morning, everybody. I did not vlog last night <laughs> because I had the worst headache so but it's really early right now i'm never up at eight but yeah let's go to the couch and just chat a little bit like i said i did not vlog last night because i had the worst headache i can't even explain to you like it was everywhere even with tylenol it wouldn't go away like and i ended up um falling asleep very early and i also didn't read anything so i don't have a reading update <laughs> But I'm gonna be reading right now, so I'm gonna be starting the, the love wager. I'm very excited. This is like under 300 pages, so maybe I can like read all of it today. That'd be the plan. But yes, I'm very excited. And today is actually a special day because it's um, me and my boyfriend's three-year anniversary. So 
we're gonna go out eventually today and get some food so good morning that's my tiny little update <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the love wager with before I keep going because I have some thoughts and this book is amazing so I just want to talk about it a little bit. I'm halfway through. This reads so so fast first of all, like it's so good, okay. What is this book about? This follows Haley. She is this girl. She's working as a bartender for a wedding which is where she meets Jack and Jack is actually Olivia's brother and Olivia is the girl from Mr. Wrong Number who ended up with Colin. The wedding that Haley is bartending is um, Olivia and Colin's marriage. They meet there. It's a the whole thing. Um, it's intense. And actually, Jack is there with his girlfriend. When Jack goes at the bar and talks with and talks with Haley, I'm all confused with the names. Jeez. Um, his girlfriend Vanessa like kind of thinks that they're flirting, and she goes crazy. So like. He's like, huh? Maybe I don't want to be with you. <laughs> and he was actually ready to propose. Uh, he had a ring and he was gonna propose to the girl that just went crazy. So that's like kind of a big life altering thing for him. So him and Haley have a little one night stand together. And that kind of like stops there for them, at least for a week. Both of them are encouraged to get a dating app or like go on to a, get a dating app by like their best friend or brother or whatever like so they both end up on a dating app the same one and they find each other on there and they start talking but they both agree that there's nothing between them like they're very just platonic best friends or just friends because they just met so instead they decide to try to like help each other find each of their soulmate and they add a little game to that so basically Whoever finds their soulmate first wins something from the other person. So for example, if Haley wins, Jack gives her all of his airline points so she can get herself a trip somewhere. And if Jack wins, Haley will give him this very rare baseball ball, <laughs> baseball that's signed by a bunch of players and he wants it because he wants to give it to his dad for Christmas. So they go on the hunt for the perfect people, their soulmates, and they have a plan. They go to, like at the same spot at the same night. So they have a plan that if it goes wrong, they can just both leave and go get tacos. <laughs> it's, absolutely, it's so cute because like in a way by doing that, they're going on dates together after their like failed dates, but they're not dates because they just want to be friends. But obviously one of them starts to uh, develop feelings and um, <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know what Lynn Pater puts in her books, but I want a lot of it because it makes me just so addicted. I read half of this in a few hours, um, maybe two hours total, and I'm gonna keep reading until my boyfriend gets here because then we're gonna go eat somewhere. I don't know where. It's either between a like rotisserie place with like chicken and hamburgers or chicken burgers, whatever, like a chicken place or uh, a ramen place. So I told him to choose. I'm gonna keep reading because it's so, so cute and I'm loving it. So far, this is a five-star book, like no doubt. If anything, if anything happens in here that I don't like, it might like take it down a bit, but if nothing happens that I don't like, it'll say five stars and like maybe even an infinity star. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I am really liking it, so. I'm gonna keep reading. This is literally the only mirror I have. So. By the way, I am 20 pages away from being done with the love laser and only reason why I'm not finishing it is because we are about to head out to go eat dinner. So I'm gonna finish it when we get back. But like it's just
that's so good. It's really good, so. A five star read for sure. And I cannot believe how quickly I read it too. I don't know what I'm gonna read next though, and it definitely I won't be reading all of it in this vlog, but probably gonna share about it and maybe read a chapter or two. I'm kind of feeling like either fantasy or thriller because I feel like those are the two that are furthest from reality that I'm open to read. And by that I mean like, <laughs> except science fiction, which I don't really like. Um, but yes, my exams are coming, which means like, just a lot of stress. And I feel like I need with my hair though. Welcome to the end of the vlog. It's a few days later. I just realized that I never actually wrapped up the vlog. So let me just like talk a little bit about the books that I was able to finish during this vlog. First up, I've read about a hundred pages of Some Girls Do, which finished it. Some Girls Do, it's about two girls in high school. One of them is a pageant queen she does a lot of pageants and she's really like a girly girl except when she is at this car repair place and she loves to repair cars that's like her guilty pleasure kind of thing and then we also that's ruby and then we also have morgan who is an elite track athlete but she's forced to leave her catholic private school because they don't accept the fact that she's a lesbian so she transfers to the school where ruby is the two meet they are very drawn to each other and Ruby starts to think about a future that she never really thought about, as in like a relationship with Morgan. She lives in a very um, closed off household, so her mom is very um, not open. 
So we, we see her just like struggle with that, all the anxiety that comes with it. And it's really like emotional a bit. Um, but Jennifer Dugan did see it as making this like as fun as possible, even if it has a lot of um, emotional and important subject. I did annotate this. It looks so cute. Look at that. Like I did it like tabbing with the colors of the cover and I think it matches so well. I really like this. I think I mentioned it sometime in this video, but I did really like this one. It's cute. It's very emotional, <laughs> but like not in like a crying my eyes out kind of way, but just like I, I was like, oh my god, like my heart. This is so sad. Like, why is this happening? Why is this girl just like suffering so much? It's a very beautiful story. And I would say that usually like pageant queen and like just any sport type of romance, like they're not really my thing usually, but I did enjoy this. I don't know, like usually sports romance, um, they're not really my thing. And also I don't really care about pageants. So I didn't think I would like it as much because like of just those two aren't really like my niche, but I did really enjoy it. I gave this book a four star, very solid YA book. And there's other books like that she has. Um, there's Hot Dog Girl, Verona Comics. I thought that said Veronica Comics. <laughs> um, but Verona Comics. And then her most recent YA one is Melt, Melt With You. And she's coming with an adult one in May, June, July. I don't know. So I've read 100 pages of this. I really liked it. I really recommend it. It was cute, fun, emotional, and like very like hopeful. And then kind of like the star of the show <laughs> was The Love Wager by Lynn Pager. <laughs> I freaking love this book. Um, I gave it five stars on Instagram in Goodreads, um, but I think like this is an infinity star. I'll decide by the end of the month for my wrap up, but like it was so good. It was so freaking good. Like I could not stop reading it. And also look at the tab I chose. Look how cute they are. They're very colorful and everything. I may have a new annotating kit coming with those tabs. It's not really a secret. <laughs> like, I just want to read this book again right away, but I do also want to make progress with my physical TBR, so, you know. So this, I already said a little bit what this is about, but basically, two characters, they hook up on a one-night stand, and then they decide, like, yeah, no, there's nothing there. Let's just be friends. So they also want to find their one person. So they come up with a game, first person to find their soulmate wins and they win like a pretty big prize for Haley. it's jack's airline points so she can get herself a trip and for jack it's Haley's baseball very rare baseball signed by a bunch of players so you know they're all like on the hunt to find their one true love and along the way they realize that they might be each other's one true love <laughs> and it's so cute seriously i like yeah, this is an infinity star. Why did I put... I'm gonna update it. <laughs> there's like a lot of tropes in this. Um, there's the one bed trope. There's fake dating. There's um, a wedding that they go to. I think that's it for the trope because like the whole like finding their soulmate kind of thing. I've never read that in a book before because it doesn't really involve both of them together but like both of them apart. And I mean, that's kind of a trope, but I just, I don't know what it's called, if it's a trope. <laughs> it's a bit of a slow burn because a lot of this book is each of them dating other people and their banter. It's so good. It is so good. If you take one thing away from this vlog, it's like, read this and then be happy. I think I loved it more than Mr. Wrong Number, which was one of my favorite books of 2022. I just can't with this book. Part of me wants to um, film a full review for it. So maybe I'll do that. So good. All the characters are just amazing. It's funny. Again, like, I don't know what Lynn Pater puts into her books, but it's addictive. <laughs> and like, I just can't get enough. And now I don't have any more Lynn Pater book to read until November. So if you have any other recommendations, like that gives off her vibe, I want them. Send them my way, please. So these are the two books I've read. Well, like part of this one and all of this one. I also started yesterday, um, A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I didn't read it during the vlog, but I chose it during the vlog. I just didn't show it, but I'm a hundred pages into that and it's really good. 
I'm liking it. But these two books, I've read um, about 300 pages over the weekend, which I think is pretty good because I didn't really like sit down too much to read on Friday and Saturday. It was mostly Sunday, so I think that's pretty good for literally like a day and a half of reading ish. If you made it to the end of the video, comment down at this emoji. I love to know like who is still here at this point. If you read any of these books, let me know what you thought. We could chat about it in the comments. Also, my hair kind of looks like styled. So I'm telling you, this is natural. It's weird. I'm just talking nonsense at this point. Make sure to follow me um, over on Instagram and TikTok because I post like kind of daily on there, more Instagram. I try to post like three times a week when it's possible. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Also, like this video if you liked it. I love to see that. Yeah, I think that's it for the video today. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.